Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. We are doing another unmasked video. So, in my mind, what this is, is I put a mask on and I answer a whole bunch of random questions um, on, from online and I unmask myself while I put a mask on. Get it? Get it? All right. So let's jump right in. First off, I'm gonna start off with the Purity um, from a Philosophy uh, face wash. I got this in a haul from Marshalls recently, as well as a silicone sponge and a little exfoliating sponge, also in a haul video from Marshalls. All right, first question. When was the last time your spouse surprised you? And honestly, last night. Um, I was doing our budget and getting our bills in order after we came back. From being out of town for the weekend and I literally was spending hours on this and he surprised me and he drove back for me and there was candles and he had a glass of wine waiting for me I have a relaxed evening after working on our budget for hours and hours and so it was a really cute surprise question number two what is my dream vacation and I'd have to say I mean I have a lot of dream vacations but right now my dream vacation um, for something we don't have set up and it would be years down the road but I really really want to take the boys on a Disney cruise and we were talking about it this week with my parents and I think if we were to do a Disney cruise we would probably um, try and do an Alaskan Disney cruise because none of us have ever done a Disney cruise and none of us have ever gone to Alaska. I've only, I mean, I've gone on like 10 or 12 cruises, but they've only ever been to Mexico. Um, and my parents go on cruises all the time and the majority of theirs are to the Caribbean. And so I really want to go on a Caribbean cruise, but I can hold off for that. Like my dream vacation right now, like if I won the lottery right now, I would take the boys on a Disney cruise to Alaska. I really like this sponge. It's not, super intense like it definitely exfoliates your skin but it doesn't leave it irritated and it's not too harsh and i like that you can put your fingers in it so you can get around the nose that you really need to get to all right use my eco tools sponge to get that all off my face question number three could i survive in the wilderness for a month hell no I mean, I would like to think that I could, like if I absolutely needed to, but I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of bugs. I'm scared of animals. I'm scared of snakes. And oh, I would probably have a panic attack. Um, I wouldn't know how to hunt for food. I wouldn't know how to make a fire. I could probably make a shelter, but no. The simple answer, no. I don't think I could survive in the wilderness for a month. Number four, what's my dream job? I don't know, like something as like an entrepreneur. I really want to succeed at YouTube. Like I just think that'd be a lot of fun. I really want to open up a restaurant, like a little breakfast lunch place. Um, I would love to open up a catering company or I would like my dream, dream, dream be to have a whole bunch of property and then have a really cool barn on it, a really cool building on it that we could rent out for events and weddings or prom and stuff like that. Um, that would all, like, whew, that would be amazing. That would be so much fun, right up my alley. That's probably like my dream, dream job is to have a whole bunch of property and have somewhere to host weddings. Also, this headband, and I have tons of them, it's from, my girlfriend makes them on Etsy. It's the, called uh, The Bandit, and I'll link her down below on Etsy, but they're so cute, you can work out on them. I like to use them for when I'm doing my face masks because it keeps my hair out of my face, um, and you can wear them either which way. You can put the tie here, you can put the tie in the back. This one has pineapples all over it because I'm obsessed with pineapples, but oh, they're so cute. But yeah, I'll link um, her website down below in case you want to check them out. Today's mask I'm using, my favorite, it's like almost gone, that's how much I use it. Um, it is the Body Shop Tea Tree Clay Mask. All right, question number five. If I could live in one city the rest of my life, where would I choose to live? It's kind of a hard question. Like, I absolutely love where we live. We live in a small town um, and I foresee us staying here forever. 
Um, and so I'd be perfectly fine staying here for the rest of our lives. Like, I love that there's one elementary school, one high school, one middle school. Everybody knows everybody. Um, I love, I love where we live. But I also really, really loved when we lived in Bend, Oregon. Um, we moved there six years ago, and so we moved away four years ago because we lived there for two years while Ben finished medical school. And I loved Bend. It's so beautiful. The weather is amazing. We have tons of great friends there. But it's changed a lot since we've moved away in the four years. It's just exploded. It's so busy. It's crazy. Like, even every time we go back and visit, I can't believe how much has changed. So, if Bend could have stayed exactly the way it was four years ago, I probably would choose Bend. Um, but since it is so crazy busy there, um, I would stay here. I'd stay here the rest of my life and be perfectly happy with that. Number six, what is the most expensive thing you have ever bought? I don't know. Like, yes, I shop a lot, but I get really good deals wherever I go. Um, probably like when I bought a name, like a coach purse or a Michael Kors purse probably was like the most expensive thing I've ever bought. Um, if you don't count like buying a house or a car or something like that, but probably a purse, but I'm not really, I don't really do designer purses anymore. It's too hard with kids and having Deborah bags forever. I don't obviously have to have diaper bags anymore, but I also don't treat my purses very nicely. So just spend that kind of money on a purse I just throw on the ground kills me. So I like to just go to Marshalls and buy cheap purses that'll last me a couple months and then buy fresh again. Number seven, how many kids do you have and how many kids do you want? So we have two kids. I have two little boys, William and Remington. They are six and four and we're done having kids. Like, I thought I wanted more, but we're done. If money and like time and all that wasn't a factor, I would have more. Um, I love kids, I love being a mom. I loved being pregnant, even if it was hard and delivery was hard, I loved delivering. Like, I just loved labor, as crazy as that sounds, but um, if we could have more, I would, but it's just not in our cards. So I'm perfectly happy with the two we have. Number eight, what talent do I wish I had? Probably to like sing or dance, cause I have zero rhythm and I have zero tone or pitch or anything. So I can't sing or dance. And I think it would be so cool to eat, sing and dance. Number nine, am I an extrovert or an introvert? For the most part, I'd say I'm an extrovert, but I definitely have introvert tendencies. I like being alone sometimes. I like not being social sometimes, but for the most part, I'm more so an extrovert. Everyone always jokes that I can make friends with a rock, so I guess I'm an extrovert. Number 10, what makes you anxious or nervous? Um, tons of things make me anxious and nervous. Change, I really don't do well with change. I'm so much better with it now than I ever used to be, but I really don't like change. Um, I don't like the dark, but probably the thing that makes me the most anxious and nervous is change. Who was your first crush? I think his name was Christopher. I know for a fact his last name was Bennett, or maybe his first name was Bennett. It was in second grade and he moved away like super early into the school year, but I just remember he was probably like my first crush. And I think his name was Christopher Bennett or Benefit Christopher, something like that. Obviously he was the one that got away. <laughs> Number 12, am I ticklish? Yes, I hate being tickled. I am extremely ticklish. And I made the mistake of telling my husband that I'm ticklish and how I hate it. And so he tickles me whenever he can. But I literally will punch and kick. Not because I want to, but it's like a defense mechanism. I hate being tickled. And so if you tickle me, I will punch and kick you until you stop. Like I'm not trying to hurt you, but oh my God, stop. All right, we're gonna let this dry a little bit. I'll keep answering some more questions while it dries down. You can already see it's starting to dry down some. This is the one, I like this mask a lot because you can feel it like tightening and cooling and you don't really need a crazy, crazy thick layer. Um, obviously I had a lot going on in my nose because my nose feels like there's just ice sitting on it right now. Number 13, your favorite store. I mean Target, obviously, but um, 
where I buy a majority of my clothes. I buy a lot of them at Shop Chic Soul. Um, it's an online boutique, I'll link them down below, but it's like a plus size boutique. I think they only carry like size 12 or 14 up, um, but her stuff is so cute and it comes so fast and it's such great quality. Um, but yeah, Chic Soul, I'll link them down below. <laughs> Number 14, how long does it take you to get ready? It depends if I have two hours to get ready, I'll take two hours to get ready. If I have 20 minutes to get ready, I'll get ready in 20 minutes. My husband wishes it would take me five minutes, but I'd say on average about 20 to 30 minutes, but I can take forever to get ready if I had the time. 15, one word you wish you couldn't say anymore. Probably the F word. Not that I, I mean, I have such a potty mouth, like such a potty mouth, and it doesn't offend me, but it offends my parents so much. And it make, I say it way more in front of them because I know I'm not supposed to say it. Like, holy cow, it's ridiculous how much I curse in front of them. Knowing that they don't like me to curse in front of them, like it's subconscious. Like, I think I just try to push their buttons. I don't even know. But I've, I wish I could stop saying the F word, but it's a habit and it's gonna be here forever. Like, I like saying it. It doesn't offend me. I hate that it offends other people. That's why I wish I could stop saying it. Number 16, your worst habit. Probably cursing. I curse way too much at inappropriate times. Um, it's probably my worst habit. Number 17, your favorite holiday. I mean, it's kind of cliche, but I think Christmas. I love Christmas. I also really like Easter. Um, I love the hiding of Easter eggs and Easter baskets and stuff like that. But if I can only have one holiday, I'd probably choose Christmas. <laughs> Number 18, famous words your parents always said growing up. My dad is like full of one-liners and my dad always said, I am the king and this is my kingdom. And it's still, like I can still hear it like it was yesterday. Number 19, do you have any scars? <laughs> I am the clutziest person in the whole world. I get it from my mother. <laughs> um, I'm covered in scars. I have scars everywhere. Like I have this burn here, which how did I get this? I got this last year. Oh, I was making fried rice and I had hot oil in the pan and I was putting um, rice in and the rice still had a little bit of too much water on it. And so when I put the rice in the oil, it exploded and like, oh, it just blistered up. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> I bent over, like two summers ago, I had bent over and I was getting cookies out of the oven and I don't even know how I did it, but I brought the cookie pan out and it laid across my chest and that was terrible. I still have a scar on my chest from that. I dropped my curling wand on my chest when I was getting ready without a top on. And like I, so like this side is burnt from the cookie sheet. This side I had like a full huge scar from my curling wand. Both of my knees are completely scarred up. Like. I'm such a klutz, such a klutz. Number 20, how many pillows do you sleep with? We have tons of pillows on our bed, like decorative pillows, um, and which we take the decorative ones off. And I sleep with three pillows. I have one flat and I put two kind of at like a V, so like one's right behind me and one I kind of like lay over, if that makes sense. So I sleep with three. All right, I gave it some time to dry down and then we're gonna take it off. All right, the last five questions. Are you a clean or a messy person? I'm at the cleanest messy person or the messiest clean person. Um, I try to be organized and clean, but when I'm being lazy, I'm such a slob. But I stand by the fact that I'm a very clean, messy person. When was the last time I cried? I honestly don't know. I know I cried a couple weeks ago because I gave myself a concussion um, when I was loading the trailer because remember, I'm very klutzy. Um, I think that might've been the last time I cried. I honestly don't remember. How many surgeries have I had? I have only had, knock on wood, <laughs> I have only had one surgery. It was to have my IUD removed. Yep, my only surgery. What is the first thing I notice about people? Probably their smile or how they treat other people, like if they're kind and nice, but like physically the first thing I notice on somebody is their smile. 
All right, and last but not least, question number 25 that I got. Am I ladylike or a tomboy? It's in both. I can be super, super girly, but then I can also be super tomboyish in the sense that I don't wanna do makeup, I don't wanna get ready, I don't wanna shave my legs. Like, I say I'm 50-50, but probably lean more so to being like super, super girly. All right, I'm gonna finish this off by putting some Peter Thomas Roth um, Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. You can put a, a lot of it on and leave it on for a little bit as a mask and take it off. Or you can put just a little bit on and just leave it on and it'll work. And so I put this on at nighttime after my masks or it's clearly daytime while I'm doing this. And so I have a long day of cleaning ahead of me. So I might as well leave it on and then I'll take it off in a couple hours when I shower. But this just helps brighten my skin. It helps moisturize it and it works deep on the, on the areas that need some extra repair. Um, by leaving it on for a couple extra hours, it'll give it that added oomph that it needs. So put that on, just a really, really thin layer and it'll dry down and we're good to go. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. These little videos are super easy to make and super fun and it's just fun to answer questions that everyone has. Like I said, I'll leave the hair wraps, uh, the shop down below and the different masks that I used. If I can find them online, I'll leave those linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'd love to have you join our little whatever this is and I hope to see you again. Bye.